download our Revise It Right revision app for hundreds of videos, quizzes, exam questions, tutor support and so much more. This video is about cardiovascular diseases. Now cardiovascular diseases are any disease of the heart and blood vessel. Now coronary arteries are the arteries that supply the blood to the muscle of the heart itself. So they are the artery that supplies the heart with its own supply of blood and therefore its own oxygen. Now this is obviously very, very important because if the heart itself does not receive its oxygen, then it can't respire, therefore it can't provide the energy, therefore it won't work and it will stop beating. So if this artery were to become damaged, if it were to become blocked, that could very easily lead to a heart attack because the heart would not be getting its supply of oxygen. So coronary arteries are the arteries that supply the blood muscle to of the heart and they supply it with its blood and with its oxygen. Okay, now over time, what can potentially happen with these blood vessels is that they become clogged and a buildup of fatty material, cholesterol might start to form. So what you might get in the blood is fatty material and cholesterol, which is quite sticky. And that may form and start to build on the lumen or inside the lumen there of the coronary artery. It could be fatty material or cholesterol. And as you can see, or hopefully you can see, is what that has done is it has reduced the size of the lumen. Therefore, less oxygen can get through and therefore less oxygen will be supplied to the heart okay now over time what might happen is this fatty material cholesterol might start to increase and that might start getting bigger and bigger until it really starts to block and clog that coronary artery okay and as i said earlier that could lead to a heart attack as it would mean that the heart is not getting its supply of oxygen Okay, so ideally, this fatty material, this cholesterol, is not ideal, it's not good, we don't want it to build up in our arteries, especially not our coronary artery. This buildup of fatty material and cholesterol around the body could then lead to coronary heart disease, which would then lead... Remember to download our Revise It Right Revision app, watch over 700 videos, answer 4,000 plus quiz questions, over 1,000 flashcards, 1,000 exam questions, worksheets, forums, and get help from qualified teachers, and so much more. The link is in the description. ...to things like heart attacks. Now we need to know the different treatments available for coronary heart disease, and the first of which is a stent. Okay, now a stent is essentially a tube that you place in the coronary artery that keeps the arteries open. So that keeps the arteries open. Okay, so it's a metal tube that you place into the coronary artery that keeps the artery open. Okay, now with everything and most things in biology, we do have to learn about the advantages and also the disadvantages of this method of treatment. So I'm going to take you through them now. Okay, and a massive advantage is it can obviously reduce the risk of heart disease or a heart attack. Okay, because if you place that tube in and you're propping the artery open, then you're going to allow that blood to continually flow through it and therefore the heart is going to get its supply of oxygen which massively, massively reduces the risk of a heart attack. A second advantage is that this is also a long-term technique, a long-term treatment uh, that will last a long time. Okay, so that is another advantage. And the third of which is that the surgery, although there is surgery, it does have a quick recovery time. Okay, so it's not one of those surgeries that you'll have to stay in the hospital afterwards for a long period of time to recover it does have a quick recovery time however with most treatments there are also some disadvantages that we need to learn and the first one is what we really just mentioned is it does require surgery okay now even though as we said this is a relatively easy procedure and it has a quick recovery time 
There is always that risk really involved in surgery. They're not 100% effective and there will be a risk involved. So for example, there could be a risk of infection from the surgery. So the risk of getting infected through the surgery. There also could be a risk of blood clotting or blood clots from the forming from the surgery. Okay, so really that requiring surgery, although it's a relatively easy procedure that has a quick recovery time, there is a risk that it can lead to infection and also blood clots. Now, a second treatment for coronary heart disease that you need to be aware about is something called a statin. Okay, now a statin is essentially a drug. Okay, so it's a tablet, a drug that reduces the cholesterol in the blood. So this is more of a preventative measure. Okay, so if you have a high level of cholesterol in your blood, then you are obviously at risk of your blood vessels, your coronary artery becoming clogged and blocked. So you take this drug to reduce the level of cholesterol buildup in the blood and therefore to reduce the chances of that cholesterol and fatty material building on the coronary artery to then lead to coronary heart disease. Okay, so just like with our stent, there are advantages and disadvantages that we need to be aware of for this treatment. Okay, so let's go through uh, those now. So the advantage and the big advantage is that it does reduce the chance of a heart attack. Okay, because if you are reducing the amount of cholesterol you have in your arteries, especially your coronary artery, you are therefore reducing the likelihood of that clog and therefore your heart is going to get its supply of oxygen and therefore reducing the chance of that heart attack. Uh, number two is that it ha they have actually been uh, proven to prevent um, some other diseases okay, to do with the heart and uh, the blood vessels. And so that is also an advantage. And a third advantage is that they require no surgery. So no surgery is actually required. It's just a drug that can be taken, that can be regularly taken. So no surgery is required. However, on that topic, that is a disadvantage that has to be taken regularly. Okay, so we know if we're ever trying to form some form of a habit, uh, for example, if we wanted to start healthy eating or if we wanted to start running, then that habit is quite hard to form. It's quite hard to remember to do it and it's quite hard to keep doing it. So the fact that our drugs have to be taken regularly means we need to form a habit to take that drug regularly. And there is therefore a risk of forgetting to do that, especially at the start. Okay. Um, second thing as well is really a side effect for many medications is that there could be uh, negative side effects. Okay, so it could sort of cause different negative side effects. So that is a disadvantage. And the third disadvantage is that the effects are not instant. Okay, whereas the stent, the effects for the stent are very instantaneous. With uh, statins, the effects are not instant. Okay, what we'd now like you to have a go at is answering these questions here, and we'll go through the answers after. So pause the video now. Okay, so question one, what type of blood is found in the right ventricle? Well, we know on the right side, the blood has just come from the body, and therefore it's going to be deoxygenated blood. If you didn't get that one right, then maybe go and rewatch the video on the heart. Uh, what causes coronary heart disease? Where it is a buildup of fatty material or cholesterol in the blood. And that buildup obviously sticks in the, to the lumen in the coronary artery, causing a bit of a clog. Uh, what are two methods of treating coronary heart disease? Where you have stent, uh, which remember keeps the arteries open and you have the statins, which are the drugs. Uh, why does the left ventricle have thick muscular walls when well, it's got to pump blood around the whole body, whereas the right side only has to pump blood around the lungs? What is an advantage of stents? Okay, well, it's quick recovery time, time from surgery, the fact that it reduces the risk of heart attack. Okay. 
Uh, how do stents work? Well, a stent keeps the arteries open, which allows the blood to continually flow, flow through it. Uh, what are statins? Well, a statin is a drug that lowers the level of cholesterol. And what are some disadvantages of uh, statins? Well, they have to be regularly taken. Okay, there's one disadvantage and the effects are not instant. And of course, you could have certain side effects. So we have now looked at cardiovascular disease, in particular coronary heart disease, and how it can be caused by a buildup of fatty material on the walls of the coronary artery. If you really understood this topic, you can now move on to answer the, the quiz and the exam questions. And if you need any help with anything, then please do get in contact with one of our tutors and we'll be happy to help.